Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Trump is pushing his chips all in on one major swing state. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not watching us on YouTube, please check that address in the lower right-hand corner. It's youtube.com forward slash at Explain America, and hit subscribe absolutely free. It really helps us out. So, former President Donald Trump is going hard in one particular swing state. Now, don't get me wrong. Going hard in all of them. Pennsylvania, super important. And Wisconsin, super important. Minnesota's important. North Carolina, Virginia, important. But there's one state where he may have an edge more than the other states, and that's the state of Michigan. The state of Michigan, which has been really just abandoned by Democrats, where lunatic Gretchen Whitmer is the governor, there's a large Muslim American population there, you see, and they're not happy with Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. And a lot of them are switching over to former President Trump. And a lot of them see a plan for the future with former President Trump. And a lot of them just want to stick it to Harris and Biden and the Democrats. But I'll tell you what, one of the mayors of the most populous Muslim town in the nation, the most, the only, I think, majority Muslim town in the nation, a Muslim mayor, officially endorsed Trump, went on stage with him. You think that doesn't carry weight? It carries a ton of weight. In Michigan, the Muslim vote could absolutely decide the election. And so far, it looks like they don't want Kamala Harris, and it looks like they do want Donald Trump. And Trump apparently, again according to this one analyst, is going all in on Michigan. And taking Michigan changes the whole complexion of the presidential contest. I want you to listen to this woman and then let me know what you think in the comments. He feels a need to clean up what he said last week in Detroit, where he was essentially, he was saying that if Harris wins, then all cities will become like Detroit, which is pretty insulting. It is insulting, but I heard him say it again uh, shortly while later when he was, I believe, in Chicago talking to that economic club saying that Detroit, again, was a developing nation or uh, essentially saying that they needed to clean up and that the entire country could become like that. I don't think he's going to change anything that he's saying there in terms of that messaging. Obviously, Michigan is a critical state. And one thing that Elena said that we're hearing from his team is that they're feeling very good about Michigan. And one thing to keep in mind right now, everywhere that Donald Trump goes from here into Election Day is targeted. They are no longer going to places that they think they're going to win. They are going to places that they think they need to reach voters. One of the places they need to reach voters is those suburbs of Detroit. They feel confident about it, but that doesn't mean they think they have it in the bank. So you're going to see him in Michigan every week until Election Day. We have three weeks to go. They want Michigan. They believe they can win Michigan. And if they win Michigan, they believe they can win the election. Which you might have expected sooner. Last week, and you and I were talking about how he was just in California and Colorado. Right. And you were out in Colorado. Kristen Holmes, thanks very much. Thank I want to bring in 